Let's check out Lang Park, commercially known as the Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. It is a 52,500 seater stadium which hosts rugby league, rugby union and football soccer. Let's check it out. So in front of me, the cauldron, the Suncorp Stadium. Now, I'm pretty sure I read on Wikipedia that this used to be a cemetery. Or well, the area was a cemetery, so uh, that's interesting. Now, something I also notice is in these locations where I look at the stadiums, there's always a small concentration of skyscrapers in a business area. Just, uh, yeah, just a little, little observation I make. Uh, right, let's have a look around the stadium. Let's see what I can see. We've got a little swimming pool down here. I want to know, are the houses, are the houses what I think they're going to look like? Uh, so, oh, there's a school, shouldn't look in there for too long. Uh, are the houses on stilts so that they get the airflow? I'm going to assume a lot of them are. Let's have a look. Stilts. Very kind of wooden. Wow, look at... How cool is that view now? Look at that skyscraper right in front of you. Oh, wow. And the, the way the glass and the windows shine. That is quite cool. That is quite cool. Let's go down this road a little bit. If you live on this road, let me know. There seems to be a lot of hills. I don't know about you, I would not want to live on this road. You have to make sure your handbrake is tight because otherwise you are going for a ride down into those houses. What else have we got? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Some rugby pitches. Athletics. What is this? Almost looks a bit like a fancy leisure centre or something. No, that's rubbish. I don't want to be on the main road, do I? It's just hills. It's a school. It's got to be a school. I tell you what, they've got, for, for a school, they've got some fairly nice sporting fields and facilities going on. That's, I'd happily play uh, football on those pitches there. Uh, and you can see, so this is what I, what I like in that as you go north in Australia, the sports change. You do get a little bit more football. You get rugby league and union. Obviously, there's less AFL when you come up to Brisbane. Not that it's not played, but it's less so. These kids seem happy to see the Google man. Right, I want some views. Come on, give me some views of the stadium. Let's see some views from outside. We've seen that one. There it is in the distance. You come driving up this hill, look. Let's do it. You come driving up the hill, don't break the red, and bam. J this really does remind me slightly of the San Siro with the very squared off edges, uh, the very blocky nature of it. Um, it looks so much like, a, like the San Siro, but more glass. I love the, the way that all the glass panelling in the, in the front, that's really, really nice. I think it makes it look airy. It makes it look more modern. I really like it actually. I really like it from the outside. I wanna go up there. Let's go up here. Here we go. So we've got rugby, we've got rugby statues. One, two, three, four. We've got four statues. That's definitely three rugby. I don't know who that guy is. Please let me know. He's, he's definitely won something. Let's look at this from a front. Imagine walking up this, up this slight hill. Now, 
I normally say I really like stadiums where you have to walk up steps to get to it because it makes the stadium look very grand and very big. But actually, I'm looking at this stadium and I'm level with it almost and it I don't even know if it looks like a stadium if I'm honest. It's lots of glass. It looks different to everything I've seen before. I actually think it's quite unique and really nice. You know, I, th I think it is built with the climate in mind, you know. Uh, they've had to think of the heat because, yeah, I think everyone knows how hot it may get. I'd love to be able to get just to the side of it there. Let's look up. Whoa, whoa. -ho -ho. Considering it's only 52,500, it is, wow, it is, it is just there. I don't even know how to explain it, but it is just there. You look up in awe, but it is very blocky. It's almost like you've got Lego bricks. I really like it, actually. I think it's interesting. And as you can see, as I was talking about the climate, as I'm talking about the climate, look, They've designed it to allow the air to come through to keep fans and players a little bit cooler. You don't necessarily want it completely trapped in because it then holds the heat in. But this creates an airflow, just like the Gabba. Um, the Gabba has it, I think the Optus has it as well. Right, this, uh, this is set up for rugby. Not sure if league or union, either way. Right, let's see what we can get. I want to be on the in the pitch. See, this is always the difficult bit, trying to find the shots. Hello. <laughs> We've just had a fan invasion. We've had a fan invasion. Is it uh, State of Origin? Yeah, it's State of Origin that's just happened. Look at this. I really like it. I really think it is brilliant when the, the seats match the colours, you know, this is vibrant. The reds, the oranges, it's vibrant. And who doesn't love a nighttime kickoff? Nighttime kickoffs have got to be the best. They really are the best. I'm not sure these fans, what's the point of them being on the grass though, because they're not doing anything. Hey ho, it's not like in football when a team's just won promotion and the fans storm, storm the pitch. Right, we are right at the back. One, two, three, three or four. What is even going on? Wrestling, boxing, boxing. It's gotta be boxing. Now for box, it's, that just shows that this stadium is used for even more things, not just league, union, football. It's also used for events such as boxing. I'm not sure I would wanna watch boxing from up here. Uh, it's very similar to uh, a lot of boxing, people like AJ and Tyson Fury, but also the wrestling, so WWE, they have WrestleMania now, so they can fit 100 odd thousand people. They have big stadiums, but you can't actually see what's happening down in the small ring. Same as the boxing here. Now, if it is our football or rugby, fantastic. Look at this view. You're quite steep, you're quite high up, you can see everything, but they don't necessarily look like ants. I really like this, with the airflow coming through as well. And what you also notice, bearing in mind the climate again, you've got the roof on the, st on the, on the stands, and look how much shade it is offering. Yeah, there's some parts that's in hot, <laughs> that is gonna be warm, I think. Um, but there is so much that is in the shade. And if you're sitting watching a sport for two, two hours, two hours plus, do you really want to be sat baking, you know, it's in like an oven? That wouldn't be great down there, would it? In these stands here, perfect. I really like that. Really, really nice. Uh, I think it suits, it suits the, the, the types of games being played. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to, it, it's like AFL, right? AFL oval stadiums, are dreadful for football, rugby, you know? You don't want that because you end up being too far away. 
these sort of stadiums that are rectangular, you are on top of the pitch. Look at this. You know, there isn't there isn't stupid amounts of distance to go back because of how steep it is. And you got amazing views. Imagine one of these Queensland players in State of the Origin running down, making a try in the last minute of the game. Wow. This is some stadium. Some stadium indeed. I really, really do like this stadium. It suits. It really does suit the sports. That is so important. It really does fit the sport that is being played. So there we go. The Suncorp Stadium. Let's finish off with this view, shall we? Because I really like this view. Here we go. The Suncorp Stadium. I think it is a fantastic stadium. It's light, it's airy, it looks modern. It suits the climate of Queensland, of Brisbane. What do you think of this stadium? And also, tell me who this guy is lifting the trophy. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. There's another VR Monday for you. Make sure, go check out the previous videos in the, in the VR Tour playlist. And I will catch you next time.